What's up, everyone? Dave from Dave TV. Welcome to my garage. Welcome to my channel. Getting this workout in. Gonna do a beer review after I get done. Still got a ways to go, but stay tuned. I'll be back. And by the way, probably gonna get copyrighted for the music in the background. It's okay, I'm not making any money. Cheers. You're watching Dave's TV. And now to Dave in his man cave. Take it away, Dave. All right, done. Just doing my cool down, just got done with that. I'm done. Let me turn my music down a little bit. All right, welcome back. Done with the workout. I know it doesn't make sense, but I'm gonna do a beer review. A little tired. I didn't even open the garage door because it's not super hot out just yet, but it's warm. Got the long sleeve shirt on, want to get a good sweat. I just got back into working out, and today was my cardio. I did about 15 minutes, that's all I can do. Gotta do baby steps. I'm almost 50, so uh, I gotta take it easy. So hold on a second, I'll be right back. All right, all right, this one is from Magic Hat Brewing Company out of Rochester, New York. This is called Number Nine. That's what it looks like. Three quarter pint, 5.1% ABV, so it's somewhat sessionable. Says number nine is a sort of dry, crisp, refreshing ale whose mysterious and unusual palate will swirl across your tongue with subtle notes of fruit and a floral hop bitterness. Beyond that, we dare not to tell you more, for with each sip, mysteries are revealed and still more questions raised. Why number nine? Why indeed? This is all it says is this is a pale L with natural flavors. Um, never heard of this company. I saw it at ABC, um, Baron Liquor Store, whatever you want to call it. Um, just says not quite pale L. Hmm, Magic Cat Brewing Company. Let's see what they're about. That's what the cap looks like. For those that watch my channel, you know I don't mess around. I hard pour. It says fruit and floral hop bitterness. Doesn't say what the IBUs are. So, let me catch my breath. I mean, you're probably saying, Dave, you're crazy. Nah, not really. Um, I'm gonna drink plenty of water when I get done with this. This is the only one I'm drinking. So uh, it's about 4.30ish in the afternoon. So just got off work not too long ago. Maybe closer to five. I had it, here, let's look at my watch, duh. Okay, 4.37. I was close, first time. So let's get into the smell. I'm not getting any fruit. I'm getting a lot of floral. It smells like a pale ale. I just don't know what kind of pale ale. Maybe a hint of fruit. I don't know what it is. It's mysterious, like it said. Let's get into the taste. Hmm. That's what it looks like. Got a, the head didn't stay long on it. As you can tell, I hard poured. 
We look at the light here. You can see the carbonation steady going up. Um, get mostly the floral taste. No fruit taste at all. I mean, none. Zilch. No grapefruit. No orange. No tangerine. No mango. No passion fruit. No nothing. That's about it. Floral taste. Um, let me look at this one more time before I give my honest opinion. It says, across your tongue with subtle notes of fruit and a floral hop bitterness. I'm definitely getting the bitterness. Um, that's about it. In the floral, I'm not getting any fruit, so I'm a little disappointed on that. It's a good tasting pale ale, <sighs> no fruit at all. Sorry, number nine. Um, I was thinking you were gonna blow my mind with this beer, but I, I'm sorry. Um, it's okay. Would I buy it again? Nope. Would I drink it again? Sure. Somebody gave me one, handed it to me. I'd be like, oh, I had this one. Didn't have any fruit taste to it. Mostly floral. And that's okay, but if you're gonna tell me that it's gonna mystify my tongue and say there's gonna be some fruit, and on the back end, probably floral with the bitterness, which it does, um, sorry. It's an okay beer. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I am enjoying doing this. You can take it or leave it, you can try it. If you've had a number nine, Magic Hat Brewing Company, let me know, drop a comment. Um, like always, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, and comment. Let me know if you've had a number nine before. And uh, till next time, please drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Cheers, everyone. It's an okay beer. Uh, barely a thumbs up. That's about it. Have a blessed day.